Welcome back. In this video, we are going to solve problem 6-87 that is taken from chapter number 6, Bending and book name is Mechanics of Material by R.C. Hebler. Statement is determine the smallest allowable diameter of the shaft which is subjected to concentrated forces. The journal bearing at A and B only support vertical forces and the allowable bending stress is 22 KSI. So this is the shaft where there are concentrated load of 800 pound and 600 pound and at point A we have journal bearing and at point B we have a journal bearing as well that only exert vertical reaction force on this shaft. The allowable bending stress for the shaft is 22 KSI so you have to find the diameter D of this shaft. So let's start with the solution. So first step is that if you remove this general bearing at point A, so you will be having a reaction force which is equal to Ra and if you remove this general bearing at point B, so you will be having a reaction force which is Rb. I have drawn the free body diagram of this beam. So let's find this Ra and Rb. So we will find this by using equation of equilibrium. So first equation of equilibrium is that sum of all moment about point B is equal to zero and taking the counterclockwise moment as positive. So about point B first moment is this R due to this force which is Ra and perpendicular distance is 30. This is producing clockwise moment so it will be negative. The second moment will be due to this 800 and the perpendicular distance is 45 inch and this is producing counterclockwise so it will be positive the third moment will be due to this 60 and perpendicular distance is 30 inch and it is also producing counterclockwise so it will be positive and the sum of all this moment about point a, b is equal to zero so i will write r a into 60 that will be minus plus 800 into 45 plus 600 into 30 is equal to 0. So when you solve this, you will get Ra will be equal to 900 pounds. Now you have this Ra, so you can find this Rb by using equation of equilibrium that sum of all forces along y direction must be equal to 0 and upward force is taken as positive. So Ra plus Rb minus 8 800 minus 600 is equal to 0. So Ra is 900 minus 800 plus 600 plus Rv uh, not minus plus 600 minus 600 because this is downward. Plus Rb is equal to 0. So from here you will get Rb is equal to 500 pounds. Now you have this Ra and Rb, so we will draw the shear force and bending moment diagram that we will use later in order to find the diameter. So for that I have to take the vertical lines from the end of this beam as well as from this end and then a horizontal line to show the length in inches. X will be in inch. On Y axis we have shear force having unit pounds. Let each division is equal to 500 clear so this will be 1000 this will be minus 500 and minus 1000 okay so the first point in shear force diagram starting from this left is ra so ra is 900 so we'll first plot 900 so let 900 is this point now moving from point A till 800 load, there is no other shear force. So it will remain horizontal. Clear. And at this point, we have minus 800 downward. So 900 minus 800 will bring it to 100 at this length. So let this is your 100. This point is your 100. So shear force will change from 900 to 100. This point is 900. Now moving from this 100 till this low, another load 6, there is no other shear force, so it will remain same. But you can see at this point we have minus 600. So 100 minus 600 will bring it to minus 500. So your shear force will change to minus 500. This is minus 500. 
and from this point till end there is no other shear force so it will remain horizontal but at the end you have rb which is plus 500 will cause it to go to zero okay so this is your shear force diagram now with the help of this shear force diagram we will draw the bending moment diagram so for bending moment diagram again i will take a horizontal line that will show you x in inch on y axis you will be having a moment that will be having unit pounds into inch let each division is 10,000 uh, or you can see let's say this is uh, 10,000 so this is 20,000 this is 30,000 clear now moment at the x is equal to 0 will be 0 clear so this is your first find the area under the shear force diagram will give you the bending moment and this area is 900 into length 15 will be equal to 13500 at this length clear so we will plot first point 1350 so let 1350 is this point 13500 sorry and you can see that shear force is a horizontal line with positive area so bending moment will be one degree higher it will be a linear line and slope will be increasing so we will join these two points the second area under the shear force diagram is this area and this area is equal to this height multiplied by 15 which is equal to 1500 so plus 30 13500 and 1500 will give you 15000 so at this length we will have a 15,000 so we'll locate 15,000 let 15,000 is this one and you can see this area is a positive area and bend shear force is a horizontal line with zero degree so bending moment will be one degree higher and slope will be increasing so it will be a straight line okay the third area under the shear force diagram is this area and this area is equal to minus 500 into length 30 is equal to minus 15,000 so plus 15,000 and minus 15,000 will cause it to zero at this point and we will join these two points using straight line because the shear force is a horizontal line with zero degree and its area is negative so slope will be decreasing so this is your bending moment diagram bmd now from bmd you will get maximum bending moment and that maximum bending moment is 15000 pounds into inch and we know that allowable bending stress is equal to maximum bending moment into c divided by i if we want to write in term of d so maximum bending moment into c is equal to um, c will be equal to 2 d by 2 because d is equal to 2 c so c is equal to d divided by 2 so if we replace c with d by 2 so d by 2 and moment of second moment of inertia have a for circular rod having radius c is pi by 4 c power 4 so if we replace c with d by 2 so d by 2 whole power 4 and that will be equal to pi by 64 d power 4 so i will write i is pi by 64 d power 4 okay now we have allowable bending stress that is 22 ksi so i will write allowable bending stress is 22 into 10 raised to power 3 pound per square inch clear and from here you will get d cube is equal to maximum bending moment into divided by pi by 32 into 22 into 10 raised to power 3 clear or you can see it will be equal to 32 bending maximum bending moment divided by pi into 22 into 10 raised to power 3 clear you can take cubic root on both side so you will get this d will be equal to 1.908 inch or you can say d is approximately equal to you can for safety you can take diameter 
टू इंच डायमीटर एंड दैट इज द आंसर एंड दैट वॉज ऑल अबाउट दिस प्रॉब्लम सिक्स डैश एटी सेवन आई होप यू हैव इंजॉयड दिस वीडियो एंड यू हैव लर्न फ्राम इट दो आर न्यू टू माई चैनल दैन सब्सक्राइब इट एंड डोंट फॉर गेट टू प्रेस द बेल आइकन सो दैट यू कैन गेट नोटिफिकेशन अबाउट माई लेटेस्ट वीडियोज इफ यू हैव एनी क्वेश्चन यू कैन आस्क मी इन कमेंट सेक्शन अगेन थैंक यू फॉर वॉचिंग एंड सपोर्टिंग मी